One way to persist data across multiple HTTP calls is using cookies. In that approach, the data is persisted on the client. So the client stores information that the server can access across multiple uh, requests. That information can be things like the contents of your shopping cart, uh, it can be information that identifies you with the site so that they can load information like um, you know, your name and your address and uh, other details, things like that. There's another way to persist information on the server, and those are sometimes known as server sessions. Sometimes the cookie that the server installs on your computer is only used to identify some information on the server that the server then loads every time a request is made. So let me show you an example of how that works out in practice. Um, I've got a, uh, so this is a simple form, and the code for this, so the, the problem with this form is as follows. I'm gonna submit, a word. That submit is done through a post. Now the server is then going to, rather than having the post return HTML, which is not exactly in line with the standard, what the server is going to do is it's going to redirect me uh, to a different, back to this form, but I want to display the word. So I need to store this information across several requests. The first one is a post, the second one is going to be a get. Um, and so how, do, how am I going to do that? So let me look at the code, and let me show you the code that runs on the back end here. Um, I probably need to zoom in a little bit, don't I? Um, yeah. All right. Um, form. So, uh, and this is this is code in a language called Python. And the only real uh, point of pointing this out is when I get the form, I'm going to set the set. I'm going to clear this uh, session variable so that the session isn't storing any information. Now, when the form is submitted through this post request, I save the session, um, and then the next time it's, uh, the form is, is rendered, I use the information in the session to display the HTML. So just let me show you how this works. Um, I'm gonna put in any word. Now, now I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you here, this particular example is storing session information in the file system. Now, uh, session information can be stored in a variety of different places. This is just one way to do it. Um, so this is a, a file that has some information about the current session. You can see it was just created a minute ago. Um, and now when I click this and hit submit, um, I've submitted the word any word. Now let's look in here. And now we can look at the data inside this particular session key. Um, and this isn't necessarily going to mean a lot to us. Um, but right now this is clear because I just reloaded the page. But in that brief moment when I submit the form, this file has some information in it. Now the question is, how does the server map my client to this session, uh, this session file? And the way that's done is using a small amount of information on the client in the form of a cookie. So I can show you that cookie. Uh, whoops, back to settings, advanced settings, content settings, all cookies inside data experiment.internetclass.org. Um, you can see that there's one cookie. It's also of type session. So this is a cookie that only exists to identify that information on the server. And if I click on here, um, the content, and again, this is probably encrypted. You can see this doesn't match the file name, um, but this is sent every time to experiment.internetclass.org. So what happens is when I send this information, it's just a small amount, the server uses that to look up information that it's storing somewhere, in this case in a file, and then use that information as it processes the request. So this is a very common paradigm. The way that the server stores the information can vary. Uh, it can store it in a database, it can store it in a file, it can store it in memory. It depends on you know, how the server has been configured and the requirements of the particular application. But I use the cookie to map to the session data stored on the server, and then every time a request is made, the server-side code loads information about that particular session with the particular client, and this is a common way to identify and persist data that I need to across multiple client requests.